All right, boys and girls, we are ready to start putting the parts of our still life together here today. We have made our vase or our container using symmetry. You'll be getting that back in just a little bit. You will also have a piece of white paper and a piece of brown paper. First thing you're going to do is write your name and your code on the white paper. Then turn your paper over to the front side. Name and code always goes on the back. So we'll put our name and code and we're going to hold our paper the tall way or what I sometimes will call the hot dog way or vertically. Then you're going to take your brown paper and this is going to be our table for our still life picture. What you're going to do with this is take your glue stick, put a few swipes of the paste of the glue on the brown paper. Make sure you put your cap back on your glue stick. We don't want those drying out. Then carefully you're going to line this up so that the bottom edge of the brown paper matches the bottom edge of the white paper right there at the corners and press it down. Now since we want this to look sort of like a table which may be made of wood, we're going to put some lines on our brown paper using our black Sharpie marker. So if you think about what we call wood grain, that's the lines we see in wood. If you take a peek at my door, my door is made of wood and you can see the lines in it. It creates something of a little bit of texture. Remember we talked about texture when we talked about our fall leaves. Texture is how something feels when you touch it. So if we think about adding some texture lines to our table, we would simply draw a few lines here using our Sharpie. So you can go ahead and you can put some little wood grain texture lines on your table. Sometimes we have those like little knots in there. So you may go ahead and do that. And we will do this part before we attach our vase. Make sure your cap goes nice and tight back onto your Sharpie. We don't want those drying out either. Okay. So once our wood grain, our lines are on our table, now we're ready to glue down our vase. Of course we want the printed side to be up, so we will be putting the paste or the glue on the back side. Once again, you're going to put a few little swipes of paste of the glue stick on the back. I usually like to go around the outside edge here. If we were doing glue bottles, I would remind you dot, dot, not a lot, a little dab will do ya. But we're doing the paste this year. So we're gonna take this, and now don't put it up here above your table. Don't put it right on the edge of the table. We're going to overlap the table a little bit here with our vase. Place it, press it, make sure it's sticking. And then we're gonna be ready for the next step of painting our stems, leaves, and flowers.